today we're going to be doing an upper body workout. Um, it's really going to target our backs and our biceps. Um, let me see if I can scoot this back just a little bit. That might help. Don't want my head to be cut off. Okay, perfect. So, we have um, three triceps and then we have a core finisher. So, we are going to start off with a dumbbell wide row. Um, then we have bandage face pulls, bird dog, single arm rows. That's going to be the first tricep. So, we can go ahead and get started. Um, dumbbell wide row, I'll show you how to do that. So, if you have weights, you can use them. Um, you're going to hinge at your hips, core is tight and engaged, and then um, row, and engage your lats and your upper back, and it's going to be a wide row, so you're kind of making your arms look like scarecrow arms like this, and you're going to squeeze at the top, banded face pulls, you're going to Take a band and also take a seat on the ground. Wrap the band around your feet and then pull the band tight and you're gonna pull back like this. And engage those same muscles, your upper back and your lats. Okay, that's the second move. And then the third move is a bird dog single arm rows. So for a bird dog, you're going to be on your knees. And you're going to, so I have the weight in my left arm. I'm going to stick out my right leg and engage, engage my right glute. I will then take the weight and row up and squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the top. This is also a core stabilization move. Okay? So those are our first three moves. So we can go ahead and get started with the dumbbell wide row. We're going to be doing 10 reps here. I'm going to do them from the side. Okay. Hinge at your hips. And one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Set your waist down, grab your band, and you're going to loop it or hook it underneath your feet. And then make it tight and row backwards. Ready? We're doing 15 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're going to do a bird dog single arm row. I'm going to start on the left side. So have the weight on my left, in my left arm. Engage your core, right leg goes out, right glute is engaged, core is engaged, and row up for 10. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. So right weight is in the right arm now. Right hand. Left leg extends. Glute is engaged. Core is engaged. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, 
This is my first workout on here. It's my second. This is my first week. My first workout was yesterday. Okay, so we're going to repeat that sequence again. So dumbbell wide row. For 10 reps, I'm gonna face you this time. So you can see my arms. Hinge at your hips, core is engaged, spine is neutral, neck is neutral, and go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? Banded face pulls. Sit down, wrap the band around your feet, and face pull, go with mine. 15 here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15. Bird dog, single arm row. Grab your weight if you have one. I'm going to start on the left side. So weight is in my left arm, right leg is extended. Be sure your foot is flexed and your glute is engaged and core is engaged. We're going for 10. 10, 9, 8, Seven, squeeze at the top, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Weight is in the right hand, left foot and leg is extended and flexed. Glutes engaged, core is engaged, and we're going for ten again. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, trust that one is completed. We have two more. And then a surprise at the end. Um, what type of workouts am I going to be doing? So I typically do weight training videos. So I'll do some like full body weight training. Today is upper body. Tomorrow will be full body. And then Friday, I'll do like a leg workout. And Mondays will typically be hit with like minimal equipment. I'm trying to do all of these workouts with minimal equipment too. Okay. Um, try set number two. It's going to be a pullover, dumbbell pullover, single arm banded row, plank with row. Okay, dumbbell pullover. I'm just going to scoot that over. You'll lay down on the ground or on, on a mat or a bench, whatever you have. Take your weight and you're going to keep your arms straight, core is engaged, and then come back up. So this isn't a tricep extension. It's a dumbbell pullover. So you're keeping your arms straight like that. And this will work your back muscles. Okay, that's the first move. And then single arm banded row. I'm going to use this little green one. And you can take it around your foot and single arm. We'll just do one arm at a time, 12 on each side. Single arm banded row like this. Okay? And then a plank with a row. So we'll be in a plank. And we'll have more weight. Okay? And row. If you take your feet wider, it will be easier to stabilize. Over to the right side. And row. Okay? That is tricep. 
we're having lots of floor work today. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started with the dumbbell pullover. We're going to be doing 10 reps here. Okay? So lay down. Core is engaged. My lower back is pressed into the ground. It's so important to keep your back safe. And we're going for 10. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. seated and grab your band. We're going to hook it around. I'm going to start on my right side and I'm going to pause when I pull back and make these slow and controlled to make it more challenging. Okay, so ready? One, two, three, four, five, Six, we're halfway there. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. This, for my left side, I'll turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Posture should be tall, core should still be engaged here. We're going for twelve again. One, two, three. Make sure that arm fully extends. Four. So that is the first round of the second tricep. We're going to repeat that one more time. Get a drink of water. So we'll go again with the dumbbell pullover. Twelve. 
two, one. I'll, we'll do our left side, and I'm going to face this way just so you can see that again. starting with the uh, wide bicep curl. We're doing 12 here. Slide to bend in your knees. Core is engaged and we're going for 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Hammer curl, just turn your palms inwards and go for one. We're only doing ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Tricep dips, we have 15. Okay? So, 15 here. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
going to show you this, this one from the side um, for a few reps, just so you can see if my core is engaged at all times. We're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hammer curl, turn your palms inwards. Core is engaged, slap bend in your knees. Go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, tricep dips. We're doing 15. These tricep dips, I know I said like anything with weights and bands, you should do more slowly to really feel that muscle engage. We're gonna use these tricep dips as like a little, a little top off thing. So we're just gonna like pump them out. So this body weight exercise, okay?
Get a drink of water. There's some comments here, so I'm just gonna read them really quickly. Okay, so today's workout was upper body. Tomorrow will be full body. And Friday will be lower body. So if you wanna see me again, come back Wednesday morning and Friday morning. Um, yes, and try out the HIIT workout. My first video was yesterday and it's on our main page. So try out the HIIT workout, it was a good one. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this upper body workout.